Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess Burferson and on this channel here we are talking about skincare and uh, we are therefore also talking a little bit about hair care because uh, on this channel here we are not just talking about lotion, potions and creams and that sort of thing. We are also talking about supplements. So uh, if you are taking some supplements that are good for your skin then they are usually also good for your hair because those sort of things they are kind of like connected so one thing to say is that uh, on this channel here we don't use a filter so when you see me this is how i look this is how you would see me on the high street maybe today i have a little bit of some powder on but uh, that is all and that you would not see normally if you saw me on the high street so there is uh, another thing to say as well and that is i don't color my hair sorry i don't color my hair i sometimes might bleach it a little bit but I don't color my hair as such. So when we are talking about hair care then we are talking about what you can do for your skin and for your hair. So the thing is that there are some uh, supplements that will help your skin and your hair to be better and younger and so on but uh, it might not work for everyone or it might work a little bit for some and more for others. It kind of like depends on who you are but in theory these things should uh, help. So we have spoken before about something called uh, Pugnosh Null and that is a trademark uh, name for something that is called uh, Proanthocyanidins or Oligoproanthocyanidins and uh, that is something you can find in a product like uh, this I have here from California Gold Nutrition. So it is French uh, grape seed uh, extract and it uh, looks like this. You can also find uh, the same ingredient in something called French maritime pine bark uh, extract here. So what we are talking about is actually uh, something called um, polyphenols. So um, in a product uh, like this, there are uh, polyphenols. There are various of them, various forms of them or sizes rather. And uh, it is so that uh, when you're looking at uh, these things here, then um, a company like uh, this, uh, this is um, actually from a, a French company. The company here is, uh, I understand, American, but uh, the ingredient that they have used is from a French uh, company. And that uh, French company is called DRT Dax, and it, uh, it's in France. And what they do is that they are making sure that they are cleaning um, something like uh, the grape seed uh, extract. So you might find uh, some places where it's really cheap that is basically just grape seeds that are just... Uh, powders and that is not really great because there will be a lot of things in it that uh, you don't really want. So uh, what uh, the French company have done is that they have uh, made sure that uh, what is in it is uh, up to a maximum of what is called a pentamere. So uh, what does that really mean? Well it simply means that a pentamere is uh, five uh, elements that are put together. So uh, they are five, Penta is five. And uh, what is most, um, I have read some uh, articles and I will uh, talk about them uh, later. Uh, they have found that uh, the uh, active ingredients, the most active ingredients or the most active forms of these oligomers was actually the dimers and the trimers. So uh, in this case here, when they were talking about uh, some, or they did some various studies, some Japanese studies, they were looking at uh, mice and uh, they were looking into how would uh, these um, dimers and trimers and pentamers, how would that affect uh, the mice when they were looking at their hair growth. So uh, something that they realized was that uh, when they shaved the mice and then they had um, something where they uh, just didn't do anything to them and just saw how would the hair grow back and it would just kind of like be some sort of baseline for what would happen normally and then they are adding a, a solution uh, of um, this uh, stuff here but not uh, exactly from this company here what they did was they used uh, something similar as uh, this here and they used uh, various percentage and they found out that actually when they used a two percent solution then that was uh, apparently the optimal uh, way of doing it so they actually put this um, on the back of uh, the mice and then they saw that the hair would grow back quicker uh, than uh, if they were not using that sort of a solution. So uh, I have for a long time and I've spoken about that before taken what is called a Pugnoshnol and that is a trade market name of uh, this uh, ex the same uh, stuff basically but lately I have tried uh, this stuff here instead. So uh, when I uh, ate it so it is a supplement uh, so you you take it as a supplement. I saw various things that were happening to my skin and to my hair and that sort of thing. And I've spoken about uh, that uh, in another video. So in this video here, we are more talking about what happened to my hair. And uh, what I noticed was that usually when I am washing my hair, there will, it has always been like there was a lot of hair fall and it's just always been like that. And uh, that is one of the reasons I can't have long thick hair because uh, my hair simply are 
falling off too quickly. So that varies from person to person really. So what I noticed was that I did not have that much hair fall as I normally had. I still had a hair fall, that's completely normal. Uh, but I just felt that it was a little less than it normally was. So I went in and had a look and saw if this stuff here actually would do something for your hair. And uh, it turned out that uh, what they have found out is that when you're looking at a hair follicle, it can be in the telogen phase or it could be in the anagen phase. And uh, what that means is that it can be in the phase where it is uh, growing or it can be in the phase where it is uh, dormant. So when it's or when it is uh, not growing. So uh, what they found out was actually that, again, they were using a, a solution. They were uh, in vitro, so in a petri dish. Uh, they were looking at what happened to the hair follicles and they turned into um, that they went from being in the dormant phase into being in the active phase. So the hair would uh, grow more and uh, they would uh, what it kind of like means is that more of your hair will be growing at the same time because what was in the dormant phase will suddenly start to, to grow as well as you have uh, those hair that were already in uh, the growth phase. So what that really means is that you have more hair growing at the same time. Not necessarily that you are getting more hair follicles, but more of those hair follicles will be active at the same time. And what that means obviously is that your hair will be fuller. So you will have more hair growing uh, at the same time. And what that means is basically uh, you will have a uh, more uh, fuller uh, hair. Of course, it will not be like you just go from one day to the other, just have a lot of hair. Rarely things are working like that. So uh, how much um, would I take of these things? Well, I have spoken about that before and um, I have taken uh, what is uh, four pills a day and uh, in a pill there is, as you can see here, there is 100 milligrams. So that is not usually what is recommended. You are recommended to take uh, less, like one or maybe two a day. I just took a little bit more basically because I made a mistake in the early time when I was trying this stuff out. But I've just kept uh, taking 400 milligrams every day. And usually uh, you can just have look at the pills they are the sort of uh, capsules so they uh, look uh, like uh, this you can see one here it looks like this so uh, when I have four of those a day and usually when I'm taking various pills we're not talking about medication but uh, when I take in some of these sort of uh, supplements if I'm taking more than one uh, pill I would usually take one in the morning and one in the evening and uh, so on so kind of like divide it over the day so it yes it is a bit uh, troublesome I know but that is just uh, what I think is a good idea so I have taken a two in the morning and I took a two in the evening and I felt that my hair became a little bit thicker and I also felt that my hair was actually starting to be a little bit darker now I would never have black hair because I've never had black hair. My hair is not black. My hair is the sort of a Scandinavian uh, brownish, a little bit golden colored, a little bit of some orange hair here and there in it. So it will never be a uh, black hair because that's not the sort of a makeup my body is. So, but when I looked at my hair, there are various things that I have done and I've spoken about that before that have made my hair a little bit uh, darker. And uh, I would say that uh, something like this I felt that my hair was becoming a little bit darker and I'm actually thinking, and I don't have any sort of proof for that, but as this is a very strong antioxidant and when you're looking into hair that is uh, going gray, then uh, the problem is that uh, your hair is basically being oxidized. So in order to, uh, what is um, in the hair follicle that will help your hair not go gray would actually be damage and so on. I've made a lot of other videos about that that you can uh, see. But uh, I thought when this is something that is uh, treated as some very strong uh, antioxidant, I thought it might have uh, something to do uh, with uh, gray hair as well. So uh, I'm thinking that uh, it is something I would definitely uh, go for if I were trying uh, to do something with a uh, gray hair. There are other things you can do. I mean, I've spoken about the uh, NAC before, so in acetylcysteine and uh, methionine and so on, and uh, how you should go about using those uh, supplements. But I would say that is uh, something you can also do, but uh, maybe it could be a good idea to start out with something uh, like this, because that is maybe a little bit easier to deal with. And though uh, some of these uh, supplements here can be a little bit expensive, particularly if you're going for the one that is a French maritime uh, pine bark extract, particularly from other brands, this brand here, which I have nothing to do with, uh, is relatively uh, inexpensive compared to what else is on the market of the real thing. Let's just uh, mention that the real thing, there is a lot of cheap stuff out there that is not the real thing. So uh, stay clear of that. Um, 
I would say uh, a company uh, like this that is relatively uh, inexpensive to start out with and see if you uh, get some sort of a difference in your skin and uh, in your hair. I would say definitely uh, when I look at my hair it has become a little bit uh, darker more saturated that is more the word uh, and my skin is becoming a bit more plump and maybe you can also see that uh, if you have seen some of my uh, other videos that uh, when I take these some, some uh, supplements here then uh, I notice various things uh, with my skin and then I am telling you all about it. So uh, yes I would say uh, there is a, a little uh, experiment that I'm thinking about it doing and that is because in this case here I have taken it as a supplement, but uh, the articles they are talking about using uh, something uh, on your skin directly. So what I did the other day and what I will try to um, look into is that I took some of the powder and I uh, diluted it into uh, just plain water and then it uh, becomes this very red color. And um, my thinking is that maybe in the evening I would uh, add it to my scalp and see uh, what happened. I cannot see what will happen in regards to uh, grey hair, but I have someone else I can try that on and see uh, if something is happening. And I would of course take some pictures of it and see if anything changes. But uh, one thing to say is that this stuff here, uh, if you have a, a lot of grey hairs, um, it might color those hairs. I don't know. It, it, it could be some sort of an issue. So, uh, but the thing is, what they have done is that they have simply uh, used on the mice uh, a solution uh, like this. So, uh, yes, I would say uh, if you would like to start uh, with uh, trying something like uh, these um, proanthocyanidines, then it can be a little bit expensive. But uh, I find that this one here the, from the, the grape seeds is uh, relatively uh, cheap. So, uh, that is uh, the one I would start out, out with. So, uh, yes. Uh, that was my little uh, talk about these things here so uh, I will uh, try this uh, stuff out here and see uh, what happens and maybe make another video if there were any some sort of a uh, good progress with it so uh, yes uh, that was my little verdict uh, on uh, this uh, stuff here uh, it is uh, a company or it is called uh, Vita Flavin and that is a um, French name and that is uh, the French company that had named it uh, this when they are using a uh, grape seeds and uh, they are using something else because other companies apart from this company here are using the product from the french company as well and uh, then uh, they will state that it's something kind of uh, like a uh, oligopin and that is uh, a french name as well so if you see that uh, in a product then you know it comes from this uh, french company that are producing the raw materials so uh, yes uh, i would say go for this one here uh, if you want to start out trying and it is not supposed to be too uh, expensive one thing to say is that if you are taking uh, too much, uh, there can of course be uh, side effects. There can be side effects of with all sort of uh, supplements. So I would say uh, don't go for four pills a day as I am doing at the moment. One of the reasons is that if you are um, experiencing a little bit of some issues with the digestive system, then maybe make sure that you get a little bit of some fiber as well in your diet. That could be a good idea. So yes, that was just a little extra tip there. So yes, if you like some of the sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all those things and we do not to be notified when I upload more of these sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.